Hi everybody and welcome back to episode number 8 of The Walking Dead. Well, quick recap from last episode. We met up with some guys who were looking for some liquid for their generators and they said that they owned a dairy farm up the road. So we said that we'd go along with them in return for some liquid and we'd have some food supplies from their dairy farm. While we're on the way there we saw two bandits who decided that they were going to fight each other and when we saw one of the friends kill their own friend, we decided that it's best to stay away from them. These bandits mean business. Anyway, we got to the farm and we got asked to walk around the perimeter, which was a good idea so that we could go and check around what was going on and see what was happening at this farm. While we were out there, we got attacked and Mark got an arrow to the shoulder from one of the bandits. It's only an arrow to the shoulder, he's all okay, and so is Lee. Anyway, everyone from the motel then turned up after this attack, and we give them the bad news that we don't actually think that this farm is as safe as we first thought. Anyway, we're going to have to see how it goes, and we'll see if we are safe here, because I think we could end up staying here and helping others out. Anyway, thanks for coming back, this is episode 8 of The Walking Dead, I hope you enjoy it. So, we're going to go for a wander over here and have a look at what's on this gate. The weird thing was, they said that the uh, the generator wouldn't be turned on while we were out patrolling the field. Yet, they turned it on. I don't get why they did that. I don't know if that's a case of they wanted to just kill us off. Or whether there was something wrong. Or they just knew that the bandits were coming. But we'll find out, I'm guessing, eventually. Hay. Some hay bales here. Well, Have a look here. The kids playing on the swing in the males. background. They're if loving it. Becomes a problem. It's crazy that the innocence is just going to get so ruined in this game. Right, there's a barn door. Do I want to go in that barn yet? Let's have a look. If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. That's right, we could camp out in the barn. If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. So good he said it twice. Right. Is there anything else around here that we could do? What's that? That's just animal feed by the looks of it. Ah, we've gone into close-up mode. Right, let's go up here. Ah! Oh, it's Dickwad. Hi, Dickwad! How are you doing? We can't even speak to him. He's that much of a dick. Right, let's go speak to Lily then. Because Lily seems alright with us, actually. Lee, oh my god, I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you yeah, think Mark lucky. will be okay? Wish I knew, but I think he's in good hands now. Yeah? It's not too bad? He'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. Yeah, you, you ain't seen nothing. Place? I really don't get that guy. I take it you and Kenny haven't made up. How do you feel about leaving the motor in, exit, or about your dad? Let's see how she feels about leaving the motel. How do you feel about leaving the motor in? It's a welcome change of scenery. Oh, he wants to get out of here. I don't know. If we'd just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. Yeah, but if we stay where we are, we're not going to be able to progress. We're just going to get stuck at the motel. Exactly, we'll uh, last, but we wouldn't have had food. Let's see what she says about Kenny anyway. I take it you and Kenny didn't exactly make up on the way here. I tried seeing things from his point of view, having a wife and kid and everything. But gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid, if you ask me. I wouldn't say he's gambling with their life. Lee, I don't. I know agree you with and that. Kenny are friends, but you recognize that he's not the right person to lead this group, don't you? No, I'm the right person to lead the group. I'll just put Kenny believes there's Kenny still believes hope. There's still hope. Maybe that's what we need right now. It is. Well, that's what we need. Everybody has to hope for something. Dead. I'm focused on keeping us alive. Right, is there hey. anything else we could say to Lily about about your dad? Hey, uh, can I talk to you in private for a second? Okay. Well, let's go chat to her. It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. 
Well, does he treat you like that too? Or how do you put up with it? Does he treat like, like you like that, that too? too? Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes. I know that. He, he's, he's an ass all guy. the time, Lily, I'm afraid. He's, just, he's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much and lost pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself. He's not the only and one me. who's lost things all in this zombie apocalypse. Me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably going to keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. Don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad, and I love him. Yeah, I can understand that, but that's just probably signed your death warrant, I'm afraid. So, do you think this was a good idea? Some kind of little arrangement with them was a good idea? A little late to be asking that now, don't you think? Dad's right. No, not Let's really, because I just want to get a general consensus of how everyone's really? feeling. I don't want to push our luck here. Now, now, let's not be hasty. I'm going to go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Yeah, and we don't need you poking your nose where it don't belong and getting us thrown out in our asses. Oh, so I guess we're going to get thrown out of this farm then. I think the reason that they wanted us here is because they know that we have weapons and I think they are after just the guns. I think that's the whole reason that they want us at this farm. And if that's the case, then I would sooner leave rather than give up the uh, the safety of our group. But then that's just me. How do I get out of here now? Come on, where do we go? Where do we go? Can we open this gate again? Ah, there we go. Open sesame. Right, let's go and have a chat to other people. Can we turn that on? That thing keeps a fence electrified. Right, so we'll probably have to turn that off soon. Let's have a look at the electric fence. I guess Mark and I were lucky we weren't touching this thing when it came on. Yeah, I think we'd have got fried as well if we had have been. So, uh, yeah. Let's cut some wood. If a couple of tools out in the open is as unsafe as it gets, we'll be fine here. Would have been nice to have one of these back at the motor end. Yeah. Ideal to just have a saw laying around. I bet they go through a lot of wood keeping those fences repaired. I hope that this episode isn't just going to be all about fence repair. Uh, right, do we go... Where do we go? Do we go up here? Let's go and have a chat to the kids. See what the kids think about this place. They're going to love it because there's a swing. Hi, Clem. Hey, Clem. Do you like the swing? Yeah, it's fun. Be sure to tell Andy thank you, okay? I will. Will you push me on it? Uh, yeah, in a bit. Oh, no. Yeah, sure, sure, I will, yeah. Happy to push you on the swing. Yeah, I'll give her a Mind push now. Time takes a turn? All right, Duck, let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. See, Kenny's such a nice guy. I really think we've done a good thing here, being friends with Kenny. So, what do you think of the dairy? What do you think of the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. Do you think how would she know? She lived in a city. How they were? I don't think so. I don't think so. Oh, um, Lee? Yeah? I miss my family. I know, Clem. I miss mine, too. Don't worry. I'm abducted, yeah. We're safe here. Don't worry. We're safe here now. As long as the bad people don't get me too, right? We're safe for now. What happened to Mark happened to you. Promise? I promise. So, how Maybe are you doing? Up, I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah. We still Just need to find her hat. I don't know where her hat is. Be okay? You got lucky out there. A bit I guess worse. we'll probably never are find that, actually. Find people who hurt Mark? Yeah, we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky, too. Ever since I met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. Okay. All right, Clint, that's enough for now. Okay. Right, let Duck have another go. Me. Of course, it's all yours. Yeah! Okay, Duck, don't pop a gasket. See them two still up there, just watching. They're just watching what's going on. Let's go and have a chat to Kenny. Hey, Kenny. Hey, 
Hey, Let's see what hey, Kenny hey, thinks about it. Anything interesting? I was talking to Andy a bit earlier. Doesn't sound like they have too many guns around. They rely mostly on the fence to keep them safe. So long as you're on this side, things are all right. Provided the fence holds out. Well, that's the problem. When there's no more gas, there's no more fence. That's true. Well, it's good to know what we're working with here. Keep looking. The thing around. is, though, there's Let plenty of cars else. normally just on the uh, on the freeway. So why don't they just go and siphon them? Anyway, so your family made it here, okay? Let's butter him up first okay? before we let no, him down. It wasn't easy. Duck didn't look so good on the walk over to this place. Uh, I'm wondering if Duck's out. been bit Maybe or something. Can have an easier life here. I hope you're right. Duck and Clementine deserve a better life than starving to death at some crappy motel. That's right. So how are you holding up? How are you holding up? I hope they feed us, Lee. Soon. On the way over here, I was getting dizzy. Hands they already shaking, fed us. Cold well, they, they were going to feed us. Gonna They're probably out. just getting the food they ready now. Food here. Yeah, but I'm not just talking about one meal, you know? So Lily doesn't want to be here. I guess uh, Lily isn't too thrilled about being here. I could give two shits about what Lily wants. The Duncan thing Kasi is, we had the, he had the RV back at the other base, so he's alright anyway, honest, regardless right? of what Lily thinks anyway. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. Lily's judgment is clouded. But you got See, I'm going to try and stay on his side. I'm going to go have a look around. Don't wait too long to help scope out that bandit camp. It'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about the St. John's and their relationship with those bandits or whatever. I right. don't think we'll that them bandits are bandits. I think they're in on this with this uh, St. John farm guy. Can we speak to Duck? No, we can't speak to Duck. Right then, let's head up and speak to them two up there. I'm, I'm so paranoid about them two guys. I've just got that feeling that they're not what they seem. Let's go speak to them. Hey guys! Fellas, how you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really Sup, sorry fella? you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used oh, to work I think big they're friends of his, I swear. Us. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So, are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Who's he? He, f he seems weird as well. Yeah, let's go. Let's go and check it out. Yeah, it'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, no, we're you just come with us as well, now. Sunshine. No use getting ourselves killed. No, Clementine, you stay here. Now? Yeah, I'll be back soon, Clementine. Please be lucky. I will. Be lucky. Oh my god, I hope this isn't all going to be down to luck. <laughs> right, let's head out then and see what we can do at this next place. See anything? Not yet. Lee should let that other guy go in front. And then if he tries anything here. funny, it's we can pop close. him straight in the head. Tins of soup. That means they're around here. Here. Oh shit! You found it. <laughs> Lee the Marine. Look at that with all of his special forces uh, and signals and all the rest of it. What the fuck? <laughs> We're gonna get captured. I've just got that feeling. Sneak up to the camp. Here we go then. How are we going to sneak? Let's sneak over to here. Can we get there? Yep, you see that's anybody? good. Stay on your guard. Stay on your guard. Watch my back. So he just walks straight into the camp. Stay on your guard, but just wanders off. Yeah, okay. 
Oh no, this don't look like it's going to end good. Oh my god, my... Oh, nothing in there, what? This camp's too small, it can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Take wow, that, I tell you what, the suspense just going up to that tent has got my heart thumping. Right, let's have a look around what's here, let's see. Empty. Cans. Looks like someone's been eating out of these. Empty cans, Reason. so they have they are around here. Let's see, is the pot still warm? Just water. Well, it's obviously not that warm because he was able to take the lid straight off without even bothering to do anything. Let's have a look at this. Bottles of and cans Nothing. of food. What's in this box? Anything Empty. exciting? Are we making it obvious that we've actually been, been to the camp then by moving shit around? Looks like they expected to be here a while. I've got a feeling that the reason they've left is because of some zombies or something. There's more boxes. What's, What's he got in there? the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Save lots. Anything I guess that's taken. like a food bank. This is too much for one person. Yeah. This is too much stuff for just one person. Trust me, these selfish bastards don't stop taking. Probably just to remind us that it's theirs. Yeah, but it's tin goods, so they're not really that perishable, are they? Let's have a look at the shopping cart. Mm. Looks like they were moving a lot of stuff. They must have moved a lot of stuff, but pushing that shopping cart through a forest would be an absolute nightmare. Oh, oh, what we found? What have we found? A dairy box! Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. Oh, man! It's definitely them! And a radio! Oh, a camera! What Sorry, not a radio, a camera. Let's a have a look then. Camera. Let me see that. No! Battery's dead though. Oh, good. What else they got over here? Let's see if we can. I, oh oh my word, this is one. so much that it's I them. You I swear well, it's them. Pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily? I thought you were running things back there. He's shady yeah, as fuck, he is. He's got the combat training. He's really shady. I don't get him at all. Right, what else is there? Is there anything else to find here? Wow. I knew that they would be in on it. Let's have a look at the gas can. Nothing but fumes. Shit. Right, we need to go speak to him. Let's have a look at the tent as well. Where's he gone? No, Lee, what have you put your gun down for? Oh my word. Let's have a look at the photo. Who's that? I've got a feeling we're going to get captured here. Really bad feeling about this, guys. There's a kid mixed up in this. Was more like. How does he know that there was a kid in it? A bloody bunny. Oh man. Yep, it looks like there's a kid. Been sleeping here, cause that's a child sleeping bag. What's in here? Oh, there's right. Clementine's hat. Don't Whoa! Put your guns down. I ain't going back. Oh Keep no! Jolene ain't going back. Hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. 
I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't know me. Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. Who are you? Who the you? fuck are you? <laughs> Look, it's not safe up here in the woods. You this gotta is come so back to bad. Dairy. Come on, crazy lady. Oh, it's a hell of a lot safer up here than down there, you best believe. Now, maybe yeah, I've got a feeling it. about that. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down. You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice sharp arrow right through your eyeball. No, you no, there's no need for that. Brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they oh, want. Oh, feminist lesbian. Take a can of beans. Where did you get Clementine's hat? It's all the fucking same to you. Where did you get this hat? The little girl. You stole it from her. So what if I did? You stole her from me. What? What the hell are you talking about? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Yeah. No. Right through. String him up on that tree. Then I'm gonna head down to that farm. Right. That's shoot enough shooter. Every shoot damn person Boom. I see. Enough. Y'all wave them guns like you're looking to die. Don't need to go looking. For Boom. Headshot. Fuck you. Jeez. Kill or be killed. What the hell did you do that for? We had a deal with them. Oh yeah, she was about to shoot. She was about to shoot us both. You could have just taken her down. You didn't have to kill her. I didn't think I was going to kill her. <laughs> I was going to shoot her in the leg. I mean, I know she was crazy, but damn. Oh well. Another one bites the dust. It's a clean shot though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. That's Still, right. What a waste. So, that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for Yeah, I think it'd be a good idea for us to get the fuck out of here now, really. They'll get the message. Yeah, take the crossbow. He looks happy that we've got the weapon. Oh well. Sorry lady. You were just a little bit too crazy. And Lee's feeling really bad now. He was she was gonna shoot us, so we shot first. That's the way life goes, I'm afraid sometimes. Man, that was a hell of a ride, huh? What? You were a madman back there. Took that crazy bitch down. You're back. What happened? Lee took care of it. I still think that she is the problem. This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? Who's My Terry? My husband. Miss him every day. Then screw it up for everybody then, why don't you? Oh, calm down, princess. I'll do it myself. So this? Kenny and Lee, uh, Lily are still well, fighting then. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? Uh, don't mind them. It's how they are. How they are. The thing is, People by them showing that we're not a one-piece group, well, it shows this dairy lot that we're we we're kind of fragmented. We'll fix that shortly. And when that happens, that's and when Lee, we could start losing people. And the I'm sides sorry, will fall. Seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. I think I'll go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. And we've been waiting for 24 morning. hours for dinner. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. That woman is a lifesaver. In the barn. There's Clem. We got your hat, Clem. We found it. What I don't understand, though, is why that woman had the hat and how she got the hat. Let's go and give Clementine a hat, though. 
Okay, well, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much for watching this episode of The Walking Dead, guys. I hope to see you on the next episode. Till then, take care and bye for now. So, I hope you enjoyed this Walking Dead video. If you did, leave a like and share the video with your friends. Click the centre video now to watch the next episode. Also, please leave a comment about the show or the game in the comment section. And if you like what you've seen, please hit that big subscribe button. Sometimes I live stream on Twitch, so come and join in the fun over there. The link is on the screen now. Once again, thanks for watching. I hope to see you on the next video, and until then, bye for now.